Hey guys, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make basic updates to your Facebook page. I've had people recently contact me, they've had a page built for them or uh, have started a page and they're just not quite sure how to create posts or make basic updates. So in today's video, we're gonna jump on the computer and on the phone and show you how to do it. Now, if you wanna skip ahead past the desktop section, you don't wanna use a computer, I'm gonna pop a timestamp on the screen here. You can skip ahead and check out the um, instructions I have for your phone. Otherwise, we're gonna start on the computer, we're gonna jump on the computer here and I'll show you how to do it on a desktop and then after that, we'll follow up with a bit of a tutorial on your phone. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm on my computer using Facebook and uh, I'm basically just logged into my home screen. I haven't gone anywhere yet. You're probably wondering sort of where you can find your pages. There's a few different places you can spot them. There's a pages link here. There's also a little flag at the top here next to your home symbol. And even uh, used to be at the top here, but uh, not anymore. But essentially, what I think Facebook is trying to drive to is this little flag symbol at the top. It's going to be the easiest one. It's going to follow you around most places. I have mine, some of mine listed down here, uh, but I've put them there deliberately. Um, so basically, I can access, access them at any time. If you want to know how to do that, you go to your shortcuts and edit. You can set it up in there. But otherwise, we're going to go to this little flag symbol at the top for pages. Now I've got a whole bunch of pages here because I've designed and started pages for a bunch of customers in the past. What I'm actually gonna do is go to an unpublished page so we can just sort of go a little nuts with it. So I've got this page here called Viral Blog uh, Traffic Tips. We're gonna click on that. It says here, this is visible, but that's okay. We're just gonna go through and show you how to do these things. So first of all, I mean, we're not gonna do do every single step i'll just cover a few basics because i do have a video showing you how to create a facebook page um, but if you want to edit this image here you simply click edit and you can choose from your photos or upload a photo same with your id image if you click on this little camera here you can view or you can edit your profile picture in which case you can choose a photo or upload a photo and that's how you can change the images on your page now if you want to uh go down in the edit some of the info like your about page you can go into about and you can simply click your pencil icon here or if you've got your left panel down here you can scroll down to edit page info when you go to edit page info i have the name i can choose a username if i am i uh, don't think i have enough followers because it's not a public page i can create a username i can add a description as you can see my page isn't eligible Add a description, you know, we specialize in traffic for your website, something like that. And obviously you want to describe a little bit about who you are. You can pick categories, you know, such as you know, maybe it's marketing, marketing agency, phone number, uh, email, website, location. If you put a location here, it usually pops up on the map. You can go through and fill out these details. This is all part of setting up the page um, and go from there. But what most people who, uh, most people I'm speaking to who need a bit of help with this, they're really just looking for ways to keep their page up to date and how to use it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is we can create posts. One thing you do need to keep an eye on as well is things like your inbox. You will get notifications up here saying someone has sent you a message, but every now and then if you go to your page, head to the left and click inbox. You get taken to the Facebook business suite and there's messages here you can respond to. So essentially you can go into Messenger and you'll, it'll be just like using Messenger. You type a conversation here, you go in and you actually just sort of have conversations in there. So going into your inbox, you'll see some conversations um, and you can basically have a, com have a conversation with someone from there. I'll just quickly switch, I'll show you what it looks like on one of my pages, blur out a few names so you can see how it works. Okay, so you can see here, this is my creator impact. Now these, these are all blurred out, but down here we've got some names. And then we've got the conversation here. I can click, I can type and send messages. And then of course I can view the person's profile. Um, and you know, they've got some details here, where they're from. So that's how you can actually go in and edit uh, you know, have conversations with your Facebook page. I also have Instagram linked up, so you can also go to your Instagram and then my Instagram uh, conversations in there and uh, go from there. So that's how you can have basic uh, conversations with your people who you want to chat to your page. Okay, so we're back over here 
on uh, the viral traffic blog tips. I'm gonna actually head back. And now onto creating posts. So if I want to create a post here, uh, I can choose to do it in Business Suite, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll just do it here in Facebook. So I click Create Post in Facebook if I want to share a text post. So I can actually come in here and say, hey everyone, what did you think of the game last night or something a little bit more relevant? And you can go ahead, ask a question and people can comment and go from there. We hit post. And you can see it'll, we've got a pinned post here that actually sticks to the top. I'll show you that in a sec. But now we have the post I just created. Hey everyone, what did you think of the game last night? and people can actually leave their comments here. You can come back and check that. You should even get notifications up here. And I can even respond and just say, yeah, I agree and leave comments there. And you can see we have this one-sided conversation that makes me look a little bit nutty. But it's essentially it. You can ask a question, have conversations and comments. Uh, if you're not sure you can, just go to your page like what we have here, find that post and start talking. So it's actually pretty straightforward. Now, if I want to pin that post to the top like I have here, so it's at the top of my page, regardless of what I publish afterwards, I can go ahead and pin this post to the top of the page. But this one here, if you find you have a post pinned, you can right click and you can unpin. So we only have the most recent post at the top. Now, there's other things you can do too, such as we can talk get messages. So we can say, hey, hit me with your questions. Add a, a photo. And we can post that. So this is, if you want people to entice people to send you a message, we can just close that. You can add an image, some questions, and get people to actually send you a, a message. So that way you can actually entice people to contact you about certain services. So maybe you're promoting a service, you can talk a little bit about it and say messages to find out more and they'll send a message to your page, which you go to your inbox over here to check and have a conversation with. And you see we've got a few other things, feeling or activity, if I click on that, I can just say I'm feeling blessed. So viral traffic tips is feeling blessed. I am blessed because life is fun. When you're ready, you can post that. You can even add a button again to check directly. I'm just gonna say not now. And now we have a little feeling based post. The other thing too is before I go any further, I can right click and even edit this post. So I can edit this post. So you know what? Maybe I want it to be wonderful. So you can make little changes to your post. And you'll find there's a lot of little options like that attached to your posts. You can view the edit history. You can delete the post if you don't want it. Um, you can even choose who can comment on it. So public or only pages you follow, um, profiles and pages you mentioned. So you can actually limit who posts, who comments on your posts. And you've got a few other options there. I can pin it, I can change the date on it. Uh, there's a lot of different options there, options there that I can play with. Now, the next two we're looking at, uh, we wanna look at actually putting putting links and images. So first of all, let's get a photo on here. We'll choose a different one this time. So I'm gonna post this photo. What a wonderful photo. And I can actually post that. I've got this wonderful photo. As before, I post that. And that's essentially the, the, the main types of posts that you can make. So what you can do is post a photo, you know, do your feelings, that sort of thing. But what you can also do is if you know the address or you've copied the address of a website, including the HTTP or the HTTPS, I can actually put a link to my website on here and it'll show up a preview. So I can say, don't, so if you've posted a, a link or you've posted a page on your website you wanna share, you can put here, don't forget to visit my website. And I've got this little preview image, which is uh, set up on my website and it links off straight to the website from there. And I can even add things to, uh, I can tag products, I can add images, but I can just post this as a link. You see I now have a link to my website. So that's essentially how you can post most things using the desktop app. Even if I go to create post in Facebook here, I can still, if I have write a big spiel up, 
I can still go and add images. I can still add bits and pieces there if I want to. And also you can go through your photo albums and edit those as well. So by clicking at photos at the top here, if I want to add some information to this photo, what a wonderful photo, I can edit that and say, it's a mountain or something like that, done editing. So you can edit posts, you can go into your photos, add little uh, edits to your photos and go from there. So that's essentially how you can make small updates to your Facebook page on your computer, how you can answer your messages and just do the basics, basically keep things up to date. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump on to, I'm going to grab a phone and we're going to go through how to actually do this on your phone. So the first thing you want to do, go to your app store, download the Business Suite app. Once you've got that, uh, if you search for Facebook business, you'll see the app, you'll see this icon, download that app off your, off your store. And once you've downloaded it and installed it, open the Business Suite and you'll see here, you've got your basic page set up. Now you can switch pages by going to the very top left little icon there, choosing the page that you want to edit. And we're in. So we can actually go in, we see our updates, see our recent posts. We can go in and see all posts. We can go in and we can comment, leave comments, respond to comments, and do everything like we were before. And you'll even see somewhere along here, we've got one comment here on this post. I click on that and I can see the comment I left before on the last video. And that's so you can go through and find all of the various sort of areas and comments within your um, page. Now, what you can do now if you want to is you can actually go to the very bottom, the little blue plus button, press that, and you can create a post. You can type up your post. My post. You can add a fit photo or location, anything down below. For now, we're just gonna click my post and next. We can choose to publish it now, schedule it later, choose a date, which I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna go publish now, or we can save it as a draft and pub publish it later. But essentially, we're good to go, we're happy. We can see the post preview below. I go to the top right and click publish. And you can see the post has now been published. It says my post. And again, once if I go to this little blue plus button down the bottom, I can add a photo. So I can access photos of my phone and essentially just go, so allow camera access, allow access to all photos. And I can pop up something like this. Next. And I say, this is interesting. And I hit next. Again, I wanna publish now, so I publish. Now, if you did skip the desktop portion, this is not a live page, this is an unpublished page. But you can see here, our image has been posted. And same again, we go to this blue button, we wanna add a story, we can add a story. A story is like those little, the, the little things you see at the top of your page, little vertical bits and pieces, you can add a story in that way. You can choose an image and go from there to add your story. So let's just pick, say, this one again. We can usually change that around. You can actually press in and you can say hit blue, type in a bit of text. I'll say I'm done. I can grab, I can just put my finger on that text, move it around, use my two fingers to grab each corner, drag the left corner up, the right corner down to enlarge and decrease the size of that. I can also just grab either side with my fingers and rotate it. I'm happy, I hit share on, and I go story placements. Yep, publish now. And there you have a story on your page as well. So there's posts and stories, and that's essentially the basics of posting with your page. Now you can also go to your page preview. So we just simply go on to this bottom left symbol down the bottom here. I click on the ID photo and this pops up. Now, if I want to edit this page, I can click edit, go into things like buttons, take actions on your page, settings. You can go in and change your page info. So this is your about information in here. So if you want to change anything in here, you simply go through, type, you click, type in your phone number. So it might be, you know, 555555, or maybe my page doesn't have a phone number. 
and I click save down the bottom. So you can go through, pick the areas that you need to actually update and update those pretty easily. Now while you're here, this image here, if I click the edit button, I can now edit my profile and cover photo by clicking edit. I can choose a photo, choose that one again. Save. And it will update in a moment. I can then click this smaller ID photo down here. And I can also grab something for that. So that's how I can actually change photos using the app on my phone or tablet. This is actually on a tablet, not a phone, because uh, the recording on the phone wasn't working too well, but the app works the same way on the phone and the tablet. So um, that's pretty much it. So that's how you can make basic updates to your page. One thing you should consider also, if we just keep going back and back and back, is answering uh, comments. So if someone sends you a message, you can actually go to the little, uh, uh, speech bubble down the bottom there and you'll see the messages here you can click on them and respond i don't have any here per se but i will quickly duck back to another page and down to my messages and you see i've got conversations here i can actually talk to i can go in here and start typing and hit send if i want to but i'm not going to so i'm just going to backspace so that is essentially how you make small changes on your phone, uh, how to make small updates on your phone with Facebook using the Business Suite app, not the Facebook app. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And uh, if not, have a play and you'll figure it out a little bit as you go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it was useful for you. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts about that, please consider leaving a comment below. If you liked it, please give it a like or consider subscribing for more information on how to use Facebook and social media. It all helps support the channel, which means I can bring you more free information and free tutorials. So um, yeah, much appreciated. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.